Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. We're still here at uh, Berkeley Springs Station. Uh, we were here in the last episode because I was hoping to trade in some of this legendary stuff I've got for script, but uh, apparently that was turned off. Let's see if it's turned on now. No, it's not. <laughs> a bunch of baloney, man. So, um, can't turn in any more of my stuff for script. Whatever. I haven't read why that's the case. Normally I would see like a little note or something when I load up the game, but I haven't noticed it this time, so I don't know what's going on. But whatever, we're not going to do that. Here's uh, just some shotgun shells lying on the ground there, and a, and a 10 millimeter pistol and a shot... Oh, there's all kinds of stuff laying on the ground here. Interesting. Hm. What are we going to do in this episode? We are going to bring up our map, and we are going to go back to our camp. Because I want to do this Beckett thing, man. That's what I want to do. I want to see what's Beckett's deal. What's the deal with Beckett? See what he's got to offer. And, um, you know, just fun stuff. Ah, crap. Sorry, I accidentally hit the, <laughs> hit the mute button. <laughs> yeah, I just went to, uh, you know, see what, uh, what Beckett has to offer here. Is it, is that asking too much? I don't think that's asking too much. Let's see what Beckett has to offer, man. Okay, so... Um, for Beckett's, uh, we need to build a bar, and, uh, in order to build a bar, we bring this up here. Now, we could always come back to the other allies at some point if we want to. It's no big deal. But, uh, what I really want to do is I want to build a bar. Oh, but first, I need to get rid of the other one first, don't I? Is that right? I wish I could just plop this one down and then it'd be like, oh, Are you sure you want to do that? You're going to say goodbye to the other one. And I'll be like, yeah, I know. Who cares? I didn't like that one anyway. Uh, so I guess I have to get rid of the other one first. Let's go upstairs. Get rid of the other one. Well, sorry, person who's not here. I am going to um, get rid of this. We're going to store it. Can I store it? I don't think I could store it. I think I tried that last time and it didn't work. I think that I actually have to uh, scrap it, but it'll tell me that here, here in a moment. So as soon as I get my microphone set up right, it's behaving poorly. Okay. Uh, so. We'll switch back to build, and um, we'll let uh, Beckett set up a bar uh, right here. You know, just just right here. You know, have a have a, have a bar here on our back deck. Build. You already have an ally stored. Would you like to scrap Wanderer's guitar to build Beckett's bar? Yes. Okay, we built that. That's so very exciting. So now we have Beckett's bar here, and um, we need to do a little bit more uh, adjusting here because um, we need a way for people to get to the bar, right? I don't know, coming to the house, I guess. Uh, quest completed, ally narrow escape. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, whatever, we'll leave things the way they are. Beckett can come in here. He's uh, making his way. My life has changed so much. So quickly. He's trying to figure out how to get into the house. Let me know Let's see if, if he can figure way. it out. Let me know if I'm in your way. <laughs> hey, Beckett. What's up, Beckett? Uh, this one's called Ally, and Eagle Flies Free. Let's check it out. It's not a main quest. It's a side quest, and there's no text for it. My favorite. I love that. Actually, I don't. I want some text, damn it. Uh, let us eat some stuff because it's what we do. Uh, I don't know. We will eat, um, some, well, maybe I could cook something here and then we'll eat that up. Hold on. Everybody hold on just a minute. Meat. What's for dinner? Okay, good. And then we go into our inventory, and we go into aid, and I don't even know what the heck we just made. Glowing meat steak, sure, we eat some of that. And we'll finish it off with some Insta Mash. Okay, eating is taken care of. Where'd you go, Beckett? Beckett's upstairs, checking out his new bar. 
the dream is alive. Interactor customize. Uh, I mean, as far as customizing him, I really don't have that much to give to him, because uh, I scrapped a lot of my stuff. Although I have been told in the comments that I may have been too hasty to uh, switch away from uh, this uh, Chinese stealth armor, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take y'all's word for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the stealth armor back on. Put that back on. This is what I'm wearing now. I think it's pretty badass looking, really. And then if I do that, <laughs> just taking it all in. We can uh, give him the um, let's give him the pink pantsuit. I want to see him wearing it. And now he's wearing the pink pantsuit. There we go. I like that better. Yeah, take those stupid glasses off. What do you think you're? Some kind of 50s greaser? Let's interact with Beckett. <laughs> the bar looks great. <laughs> I mean, even better than I'd imagined. Yeah, thanks for giving me a place to crash, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Why, uh, why'd you break me out of Rollins anyway? I mean, you don't know me. I, I could be a bloodthirsty maniac. An axe-wielding ex-con, a door-to-door -door salesman. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> if I had my charisma up, I could say no one is so rich as to throw away a potential friend. Or we could say, honestly, I was bored. We could say, simple, raiders make my skin crawl. Or I just went to clean up Appalachia and help where I can. No, raiders make my skin crawl, dude. Oh, well, uh... I hope that doesn't include X-Raiders, because, uh, I've left that life behind. Ah, look, uh, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Now, these Blood Eagles are bad news, and they need to go down. Hard. Now, you already stuck it to them once at the labor camp, so I know you've got what it takes. You feel like helping me wipe out the rest of these chumps? Hell yeah, I do. Sign me up. Let's wipe them out. They're bad news for who? Or you're going to owe me big for this, Beckett. I'm just going to ask this question, although I think they're bad news for everybody, but I'd like to see what he says to this. For everyone in Appalachia? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're out of control. But they take what they want and kill anyone that gets in their way. When their numbers start to drop, they kidnap innocent settlers, force them to join the gang by shoving chems down their throat. The things I've seen them do would make you sick. That's why I bailed out. That was too much. Even for me. What do you mean, even for you? What does that mean? Let's wipe them out, man. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's what I'm talking about. If we want to take the Blood Eagles down, killing the sheep isn't going to do the trick. We need to go after the Shepherds. But before we head down that road, we'll need help. Which means I need to right a few wrongs. Okay. Hmm. Well, we have high perception, so we could say these wrongs? I'm getting the feeling they're pretty dark if you're willing to risk your life to fix them. We could use our intelligence to say there's no way we can kill every last one of the Blood Eagles. We could say, fine, let's do it. We could say, what kind of wrongs are we talking about? We could say, what's this help you're talking about? We could say, maybe later, okay. Let's go and use our perception to say, these wrongs, I'm getting the feeling they're pretty dark if you're willing to risk your life to fix them. Oh, oh, oh. we got a mind reader here. You want to dig into what I've done? Fine. I've killed people, okay? Killed them for as little as looking at me the wrong way. Thanks for reviving that painful memory. Okay, well, you know there's no way we could kill every last one of the Blood Eagles. Of course not. But taking down the top dogs would reduce them to a bunch of unorganized stragglers. And that's why we concentrate on targeting their leadership. Alright, so, uh, let me ask you again, what kind of wrongs are we talking about? Oh, I don't know. Take your pick. I've stolen, I've looted... Pretty much pulled every dirty trick in the book. Okay, and um, what's this help you're talking about? Well, since I'm not exactly responder material, that doesn't leave me many options now, does it? Let's just say I tend to keep mixed company. Don't worry though, I'm pretty sure my friends will help us out. Well, I, uh, I think so.
All right, fine. Let's do it. Ah, good. I know exactly where we should start. Best bet would be my old pal Edwin. To, uh, piss him off, I stole his stupid diary. So, uh, if we want his help, we need to get it back for him. Can you handle that? Um... Uh, <laughs> so, um, who is Edwin, anyway? Well, he's the leader of a different gang of raiders. Really tough guy. Sharpened his teeth to points. You know, classy. See, his diary has a lot of, uh, precious, sad little secrets. Uh, stuff you wouldn't want your gang to hear, if you catch my meaning. Well, to impress the Eagles, I sort of stole the diary and snatched it away, so... He's not exactly thrilled with me right now. Okay. Um, hey, by the way, why did you want me to build a bar for you? Well, you see, I'm a people person. And I like to listen to people gab. Especially the tipsy ones. I mean, there's more to it, but... Uh, let's just leave it there for now. Okay. Fine. Is uh, this bar of yours stocked? What a silly question. I built it. Always. What do you need? No. Oh. Um, well, I have some questions for you about the current job. Sure thing, boss. Well, I'll be back soon. Thanks. I'll put the word out for a mutual contact while you're out. See if I can arrange for a meeting. And also, before you head out, thanks for letting me stay here with no strings attached. <laughs> Yet. Anyway. Huh? I'll pull my weight around here. I will. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we need to find Edwin's diary. Yeah, I kind of like this. I like I like my huge deck out here with these nice lights. This time of night, got a little bit of a glow to it. I like the little Christmas lights around Beckett's bar. I dig it, man. Uh, so, yeah, we're helping a friend staying at camp. If we show it on the map, we'll see that Edwin's diary is up here by the a Freak Show. That is a place, or it's down here by the Freak Show. Okay, it's not far away. I mean, we could walk over to it. We could take a little walk. What if we talk to him again, then? Thanks uh, for letting me crash here for a bit. Yeah, there's a spare bedroom in there. You just go ahead and, you know, take that bedroom. Um, this one with the door shut, that one's mine. Uh, you, you know, you can take this one right here. All right. Back for more Beckett, eh? Can't say I blame you. Um, let's ask Always. this again. What do you need? And let's see if what he has to drink. I tell you what, I'll buy this round. Uh, the rest will be out of your pocket. Uh, this stuff doesn't come cheap, you know. Oh, we got a Nuka Cola Quantum. Okay, interesting. And then if I wanted more, I could buy it from him, but I can't really say I want any of this stuff. I mean, Oak Holler Lager would give me some charisma if I need it. Um, but I'm, I don't know if I have any other brews in here now or not. Bicycle? Oh, these are notes. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Well, see you later, Beckett. I'm going to go to do your dirty work. So, yeah. Uh, oh, it's, what, it's this. No, no. It's this direction. So I'm going to turn off this one so that I just have one marker on my map. And uh, we're going to take a little walk. We've, we've taken this walk before. Yes, we have. But it's been a while. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's good to just get out and stretch your legs a little bit. And uh, like I always say, you never know what you're going to find. So let's take a walk over here. This place, is it... It's here, so it's kind of high up. I'm thinking that maybe I need to stay up instead of go down. Now that I've looked at that, I think we need to go up. So we'll take the high road here. I'm going to walk right along the edge of this mountain here. in our stealth suit. 
which, uh, the stealth suit is different than my cloaking chest piece in that you can see I'm sneaking and I'm still invisible, whereas with the chest piece, I'm only invisible while I'm standing still. So that was something that was pointed out to me in the comments that I don't think I really paid any attention to. So this is pretty cool right here. It looks like you can get yourself out of some trouble um, by going invisible like that. Let's get some of this iron. Uh, we use the iron to make steel, and then uh, we use the steel for ammo. And I go through the ammo pretty quickly, so it's always good to have ingredients to make more ammunition. That way I don't have to buy it. Speaking of buying, I should have, maybe I should have put some of those legendary weapons up for sale. They're just sitting in my stash anyway. That's what I should have done. No, well, I didn't. I'm gonna stay high. Don't really remember where this camp is exactly. Pretty quiet out here. Huh. As soon as I say that, I hear something. Oh, I got some explosions going on. Is this it? Are we there? No, I'm not sure what what's going on over here. Pretty intrigued. I should be able to just walk right up to it, since I'm invisible. Let's we'll walk over here and see what's causing these explosions. Vats isn't picking up on anything. What is this place? Oh, I, I kind of remember this. Don't remember what the story was, though. Um, those explosions may have been, um... Mines, I think this place is booby-trapped. So, if I'm invisible but I turn my light on... It's pretty funny. Everybody would just see, like, this light... coming at them. Okay, well, there's nothing there. Nothing we're concerned about, anyway. What's that? A box over there. I'm sure something super valuable and important is inside of it. Fishing rod, caps, tongs, screwdriver. And then there's a car down there just glowing in the moonlight. Okay, so what we're looking for is down here. A little bit below where we are now. I'm going to go ahead and get into crouch mode. It's like you be invisible. Oh, wow, that's a lot further down than I thought. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. So, does this thing... This thing I'm wearing help with fall damage? Well, it just says prevents damage and disease from waterborne hazards, so no. I'm thinking of something else. I thought I'd pick something else up that would help with falling. Um, I need to go down. Go back here to this road. Okay, come at it from this way. 
This should work. I'm pretty sure we've been to this place before, but I sure don't remember it. What's it called? It's called The Freak Show. Anybody alive over here? Glowing plagued rad rat over there. Might as well go ahead and clean that up. <laughs> Merry go round horse there. That's pretty funny. So get that meat. Bunch of bowling balls. And a soccer ball that for some reason I cannot interact with. Oh, look at this. A honey beast. So it's kind of like a, a carnival kind of thing. Take those rounds. Take that stuff. Well, this is very quiet here. Footlocker. I'll take Edwin's diary. Simple as that, man. All right, we found it. Now, bring it back to Beckett. But the question is, the question everybody wants answered is, can we read this guy's diary? I mean, come on. That's really what we want to know, right? Edwin's diary. Let's see. Well, it's not under notes. Hmm. Um, it's not under notes. I mean, I don't think it's a hollow. No. Is it miscellaneous? Edwin's diary is under miscellaneous. Okay. I can't equip it, but can I read it? My diary. I can't read the freaking thing? That's lame. Lame. That's lame. Alright, let me out of here. Oh. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. The game's gotta wake up. Um, yeah, I mean, I could, view, well, view just changes my view, and then I have inspect, and there's no read. That is, I, I, well, you saw it had a little lock on it, so maybe that's what's keeping me from getting in there. It's locked. So, I don't have the lock, so I can't, uh, prisoner crate, that's a new one. Prisoner crate? I don't think we're going to find anything good in here, but let's look. Yeah, I don't want any of that. Okay, well, we did it. We, um, got the diary. And since we just did this walk, I don't think there's any reason for us to do it again. So we'll just go ahead and travel back on back to our camp. I mean, I was kind of hoping we'd get to read some of that. That's disappointing. Oh, well, we got the gist of it. Um, vending machine ammo. How do I, how did I put ammo on that one? The word ammo. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Vending machine. What was that that just said? Uh... Sell items. Sell items from your stash. You will receive 90% of the sale price? I never noticed that before. I get 90% of the sale price. Well, where does the rest of it go? 
That's weird. <laughs> Alright, whatever game. Whatever. Do what you gotta do. So this vending machine has... Um... Stuff... Yeah, I don't actually have a whole lot of stuff for sale anymore. And, um... Well, let's see. Weapons. There we go. Let's get this dumb old sword. I mean, what's something somebody might want? You know? Something that I don't want, but somebody else might want. I have no idea. My dreams need to settle down. But, I mean, all of these things are here, so, I mean, why not? Why not... How come I can't put it for sale? A sign? Set item price. I don't know. Put all these for sale, but whatever, whatever it suggests. Because, like I said, they're just sitting in my inventory anyway. Might as well put them up for sale. Hell, maybe somebody will want it. What the hell? Why is this? How come some of this stuff is getting moved over here? Sell. Yeah. Stash is full. Ah, oh, okay. Sell. Sell. There. All that crap's for sale. Who cares? Who cares? I don't care. Um, but... What I do want to know is... Um, how... Did I put those, uh the word ammo on there before. Here we go. Okay. A. How do I switch? Okay. Gosh, it's going to take a while, huh? So we go to... This is dumb. W. Oh, that's right. It, cost, it uses resources. That's good. W. E. Can I do this? Okay. A. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Uh, build. Oh, I'll think about it a little bit, game. Okay. Oh. Attention, citizens. Here comes something. Nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your build. cooperation. Oh. Weapons. Why can't I why can't I build this? Look, I can't build it. Why can I build it? Why is there a why it was not letting me build stuff anymore. Whatever. Wep. <laughs> Where's this bomb being dropped? I have reached more of them. Down there. All right, well, let's bring Edwin's diary to Beckett. I'm done with that now. Where are you, bro? Hey, man. Enjoying yourself? So, did you find it? I did. Um, I mean, it was really, it was a piece of cake. Truly? Well, that's good to hear because I have more for you to do. I've got a buddy named Sage, who joined a stupid cult and got himself swept up into their nonsense. I, uh, need you to find him. Get him out of there. And in the meantime, I'll try and get this, uh, diary back to Edwin. Maybe that'll convince him to back us up, hmm? Sound good? Mmm, hmm. Well, I can't get my intelligence to eight, so I can't ask him that. But uh, we can't say what kind of occult are we talking about here. I have a feeling I know. Well, for a while, he was into a Tato cult. <laughs> they just spoke to and then ate Tato's. Um, <laughs> I try not to judge, you know, so... Moving on, uh, then he was in a cult that believed we were all living in some kind of terminal program or robotic AI unit. Uh, I don't remember anymore. Uh, then he did some, uh, Mothman thing. Uh, 
might still be his jam. Or maybe he's into some other cryptid now. <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't matter, honestly. All right. Well, tell me a little bit more about Sage. Sage. He's a, a violent murderer, a sloppy thief, and used chems until his brain rotted down to almost nothing. Now he sees the world differently than we do. The last time I saw him, I was trying to get out of the Blood Eagles, and he was joining a new cult. All right, well, uh, no big deal. Consider it done. Seriously? Weird. I didn't even pay you anything. You're kind of creeping me out, honestly. Before you go, care for a drink or anything? Is it free? Um, well, let's ask you some questions. Where is Sage, exactly? Well, I don't know for sure. Uh, there's a cave that he talked about last time I saw him, so I thought you could try there. When I go talk to Edwin's gang, I'm gonna see if they know anything else. Uh, I doubt they will, but I may as well ask while I'm there. It's too bad I missed that bomb being dropped. I wish I would have thought to check that out, but oh well. So, you got any family that should know you're safe now? All I have left is a brother. Name's Frankie. But that's, uh, that's something we can talk about some other time. Okay. So have you always been a raider? <laughs> I might still be. I gotta check my membership cards. But seriously? Yeah. It was fun. Rough, but fun. Picked up the wrong sort of attention and got pulled in the wrong direction. Bam! Instant Blood Eagle. Worst Blamco product ever. Alright. Uh, let's ask him for something from the bar. See if he says anything different. Ah, for you? It's always open. What do you need? Mm. I just want to talk? Of course. What's on your mind? Mm. Tell me about your older gangs. Ancient history, huh? Ah, fair enough. Well, let's see. Okay, first, I was an independent. Huh? Just trying to steal enough to keep me afloat. Uh, the problem was all the competition. The gangs. Uh, once I realized it was smarter to join them, I ran with Hopkins hooligans. And that went pretty well, actually, until Hopkins got himself killed. Uh, I ran with Edwin's gang for a little while until uh, the Blood Eagles came calling. And they uh, recruited me into their gang. And the rest, as they say, is history. Alright, I guess I'm done talking for now. Okay. Need anything else? Well, um, I need something to drink. You got it. Uh, I'll take one of these. Good one, I hope. Okay. Take, take one of these. Just one. Just in case I need a little charisma boost. Don't think I need anything else. Alright, well we got some more crap that we're not interested in. Exit Sage left. Eh, clever. Alright. Uh, do I have any more of these to transfer? I do. Tesla Science 2. Cool. And I don't think I've picked up any more bobbleheads. Yeah, I have not. So let's go down here and scrap this weapon that we just got that I'm not interested in. This thing. I'm sure it's great and all, but I'm not really specced for it. Okay. Looks like my guy's thirsty. And drink something. So now, look at our quest here. Exit Sage left. We need to rescue Sage. Sage is currently over here. Also not far away. We could walk over there. Another place we've been to a couple times. But uh, let's just go ahead and walk over here. Probably going to have to kill a bunch of cultists. Cultists in order to rescue Sage. And I'm not even sure if he's going to come willingly. 
Uh, Beckett made it sound like there's not really a whole lot left of his brain. But I don't know of an option to knock someone out and throw them over our shoulder. Uh, maybe... Drop down here. It's pretty far. Not a problem for us, though. Oh, it's verdant season in the savage divide. Enjoy the abundance. Hoorah. So is this the place right down here? What is this? Well, if I remember this, sounds like I'm barefooted. Oh, this is another one of those obstacle courses. Oh, look at this. Huh. Huh. Well, how do you like that? Where's the starting of it? I know I've walked through here before, but I don't remember seeing this. Let's find the starting of it. Let's do this. Why not? We're here. Pioneer Scouts Athletics Course. Cool, man. Let's do it. Let's do an athletics course. So first, let's take a look at it. See what we're up against. See if there's any booby traps we need to disarm. Look at me. I can just jump over all this crap. I'm going to waste my time jumping in those things. supposed to walk on this? Uh, oh, okay. Interesting. Go up here. This is new. Okay, we're up. Can't really climb down a rope. And then we go up here. We go this way through here. Go across this bridge that's not in real good shape. And that's the course finish. Okay. Oh, and we're here. All right. Huh, interesting. All right, let's go back to the starting. If I can find the starting again. So it's right here by um, Camp Venture. Right here. Okay, let's do this. You ready to put those legs to work? Because I'm ready. Born ready. Ready, Freddy? Yeah! Mm -hmm. Same rules as last time. Run through each checkpoint in the right order and make it to the finish line in time. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go, go, go! Okay, give me the first marker. Okay. I listen to the instructions, and... Where's the marker? Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Alright, good, good, good. Oopsies. Oopsies. Oh, I only have 15 seconds left. I'm sitting here screwing around. Okay, we're not going to make it. So, <laughs> I was thinking it was like the last course where we had like a ridiculous amount of time. Um, but yeah, I was just taking my sweet time here. <laughs> Give me a thumbs oh, down. Brother. Okay, well, I mean, at least we got to hear what he says when we fail. We didn't get to hear that last time. Okay, that's why I did that. I did it on purpose so that we could, you know, hear it. That's why. I like your spirit. You 
get absolutely <laughs> humiliated and get right back up. So let's give it another go. Yeah. They put Remember, the uh, run through each checkpoint in the right order and get to the finish line before time runs out. Do your best. On your mark. Get set. Go. They put the check mark things like way high. Can't even see them. Yeah, look at that. It's right there. Yeah, I don't like that. Cause then I'm not 100% sure I'm going the right way. But yeah, we don't have a whole lot of time to do this. And uh, this, I feel like my um, my 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 mutation here is actually hurting me. Dang on it! Did it. <laughs> you did it. I can't believe it. Can't believe oh, it. Oh wait, yes I can. Because I always believed in you. Time for the final race. Make your way to the next course. Don't pull a muscle on the way. You'll need your strength. <laughs> Don't pull a muscle on your way. Okay, well, that was kind of cool. So there you go. Another one of those athletics courses completed. Boy, I just... I mean, we've been here before several times and I don't remember seeing that course over there. I really don't know if those are those were put in during Wastelanders or whether they've always been there and I've just never noticed them before. I have no idea. I'm sure somebody watching this knows though. Somebody here on my marker, there's two two dots on my my compass over here who are the, who's over here Carla believe it the years really went by living in the vault I'm just glad I got to spend them with you I know it's hard to believe feels like just yesterday we were playing in the marching band you know I got butterflies every time you passed my rowing class <laughs> I'd wait to go piss, because I was too nervous to pass you on the way to the bathroom. Oh, Dino, you told me a hundred times. The years haven't been great to us, but at least we still have each other. We'd only been together a few months before going into the vault. Imagine if we hadn't made it into the same one. At least we still got the rest of our lives to spend together out here. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Who the heck are these people? And what is up with his eyes? Why is he all... His eyes get like black eyes. What the heck, dude? Dino and Carla. Who are these people? Hey, Dino. What, how's it going, man? Can we be friends? I'm not the man I once was. But Carla loves me all the same. Well, that's sweet. Can't you see we're a oh. little busy? It's a special occasion, so unless you're gonna play busboy, <laughs> beat it. Oh, okay. You're kinda killing the mood, <laughs> you know that? Back in the vault, Dino was the best looking guy around. There weren't many of us in there, you know. <laughs> so he really didn't have much competition, is what she's saying. Well, don't you look cute. Don't I, though? I mean, look how cute I look. <laughs> I look adorable. Dino's a good man, but sometimes it's nice to spice things up. Um, excuse me? What are we getting at here? I met Dino in high school. We both played in the marching band. He was cuter back then, but he still has a warm heart. He's sitting right there. Look, he just got sad. Oh, I'm not cute anymore. You're kind of mean, Carla. Tonight's our 50th anniversary. Some of our best years were spent in the vault together. Your 50th anniversary? Did you get married when you were two? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. You, on the other hand, youthful and limber, <laughs> don't have back problems, do you? <laughs> I guess she's supposed to be a lot older than she looks. 
I met Dino in high school. Mm. We both played in the marching band. Mm -hmm. He was cuter back then, but he still has a warm heart. Ginseng roots. You don't see that everywhere. Frag grenade, handmade glue. So, uh, this is where you're living, huh? Why so much handmade glue? Honey. I mean, there's not even a, a roof on this place. <laughs> It's a humble enough setting, but I think a romantic dinner is still manageable. You don't even have a table, dude. Fifty years. Can you believe it? Damn, I'm a lucky guy. Yeah, you sure are. I mean, did, have you looked at you? Tonight's our anniversary. She's as beautiful as the day we first met. I'm not the man I once was, but Carla loves me all the same. Well, this was an interesting random encounter, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> it's just pretty interesting. 50 years. Can yeah. you believe it? Damn, I'm a lucky guy. You are a lucky guy. Well, I'm going to end this episode here and uh, just really ruin the mood for these two people here. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, we'll go ahead and walk in that direction there over to um, Blake's Offering. And um, we'll see if we can't rescue Sage and then uh, somehow bring him back to my camp. Oh, there's somebody there. Halen there is at my camp now. Hopefully Halen will buy some uh, of that freaking legendary crap I've got for sale. I've got it for sale for pretty cheap. Crap for sale. Pretty cheap. Get it while it's good. There. He should buy it now. All right. Going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like or a comment. That would be awesome. See you next time.